Look at these prime conditions, man. So nothing crazy here, guys. Um, fish finder remains the same. Um, I got the battery all charged and I got the wiring all fixed. So that's all good. And the rod holders, I just actually finished them today. I know I didn't film it or anything, but got two flush mount rod holders that I just took. I drilled a hole, measured it, measured the um, diameter of the um, tube, measured a hole, drilled through, and just bolted them on. And then I put waterproof silicone all around. So we get a watertight seal and no water get inside my boat. So not too not too pretty of a job, but it's gonna work. It's gonna keep water out, and that's all that I need. And the last thing I did, I just added a bunch of decals to my kayak. Um, of course, you got you know most of my decals are gonna be tackle direct decals because you know they are just the, the best South Jersey tackle store like of all time. And of course, you got Salt Life decal, OTI. Got a Shimano decal that I kind of screwed up, but whatever. And yeah, so that's the final look of the boat. I mean, it looks pretty sick. It is an officially full out rigged boat. So the plan is, um, it's pretty much done now. I'm waiting for one more piece to come in the mail, but that won't be here probably for a couple more, like a couple more days. But anyway, um, the plan is to go out on my local lake. We're gonna test out this kayak, test out the fish finder. Um, see how it all works. I'm pretty excited. Right now the conditions are absolutely prime. We've been having on and off rain. It's overcast. It's about maybe 80, 80, 79 degrees outside. Perfect conditions for fishing. Um, I'm gonna try to get on a top water bite, but if that doesn't work, I'm sure I could get on a bite with like a spinner bait or some other type of moving bait. But yeah guys, see you guys at the lake. I'm gonna get all my stuff in the car. We're gonna get out of here. Okay, so I have managed to launch the kayak out here on my local lake and go ahead and power up the fish finder. Take this little, leave it off, make sure it doesn't get wet. And let's power her on. First time turning her on, first to take her off simulator mode. This off scout. There you go. She's a working. So it's funny. I fish this lake so much, and I've never known anything about it. The like depth and stuff. So right here, it's actually pretty deep here. It's eight, eight point five, eight point four feet. Water's eighty degrees, and it looks like you got a bunch of crap down there. Interesting. Well, let's get started. Oh, that was a fish. Good boil on that fish. Last time. Let's see if I can finesse some fish out. Little itty bitty swim bait. Pickerel bites me off. Tell you what, I would not be surprised if a pickerel bit me off. Oh yeah. Did that fish eat immediately? Oh, I had a hit. Popped off. Hit immediately ran under that tree.
Got one. If it doesn't break me off. What is it? Little pickerel. Isn't that a surprise? Oh wait, yeah, this lake's filled with these dudes. He unhooked himself. Perfect. Little chain pick. Get out of here, buddy. Alright, first fish of the day. Missed a couple early on. One on the. F no, I missed two on the spinner bait. And just got that one on the micro swim bait, which never fails. Catch bats. Pickerel, perch, crappie, you catch anything with the micro swim bait. Pickerel just grabbed it. He actually isn't being dumb. Grabbed it right in front of me. What's going on with my fish finder? Just restart it. What the heck is it doing? It's like it's having trouble setting a proper like area it wants to cover. another one there, damn it. Got him. What is this? It's a pickerel. I don't want you anyway. <sighs> Piece of shit. Um, so guys, here is the update for you. This stopped working. Um, it's just not like the auto depth. I don't think the fish finder part of it is broken. It's the auto depth, like how to adjust to the bottom, the max depth. It's not working. So, have it. I've had it turned off for a while, and I just turned it back on. It's on simulator mode right now, and I'm gonna try and put it back on. See what works. See now it's doing it again. It's not. Maybe, maybe, nope, see, it's changing the depth. Going all the way to 150, and then it's going back down to 15. It, it's weird. I have no, I just, I don't understand. I don't know. Makes no sense that it would do that. But it's doing it. Maybe, come on, come on, 
Please work. I think it's working. Why does the bottom look weird? Is it on auto right now? Yeah, it is. Well, I don't know what that bottom's supposed to be. But it's working. Please, just work. I beg of you. Please work. Alrighty, guys. So, that's going to conclude this video. Um... The one thing that I discovered about this fish finder after using it this day was that when you're in really shallow grass, um, the unit has a very hard time adjusting to the bottom max depth. So like, as you saw there on the screen, the screen would show like little segments of the bottom and it wouldn't allow you to like actually see the entire length of the bottom and what was on there. So that's the only con really I have about this fish finder is that it doesn't really work properly when it's in shallow grass. Other than that though, you guys saw when I moved back out into deeper water, like eight, nine feet, it read the bottom fine and it readjusted itself no problem. So it's not that the unit doesn't work, it's that the unit, it's not as effective just in shallow grass. Um, other than that, I have no other real cons about it. It works great. I was able to mark a bunch of structure and stuff off the bottom and I also, um, while I was fishing, I was able to mark a couple brush piles, um, a little offshore, a couple points, like, on the lake, and potentially there were fish on there because there was a bunch of, like, marks and stuff around those brush piles and stuff. So, something to go check out next time. But for sure, I am very happy with this purchase. Um, I think it's going to be a great little unit, and I look forward to using it more. So, make sure to hit that like button and if you guys are new go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys on the next video